Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Global Beast Tamer. I, the Eternal Beast Tamer. Chapter 36. Let's go, I'll take you there to find Lao Lei and the others. Master Xiao smiled and patted Ji Yongchang on the back. They have a good relationship, so it is natural for them to form an alliance, and Ji Yongchang is the most powerful among them. It goes without saying that Ji Yongchang is their big brother. When Big Brother was away just now, people in other places were very arrogant. This time Big Brother is here. Don't look at their arrogance. Well, then you go over there and make friends first. Ji Yongcheng pointed to the place where a group of young people were. Okay, Dad, I know that place well. I'll take them there. Ji Bai volunteered to take over the job. Ji Yongcheng nodded. His son had the same social skills as him and could chat with anyone. Let's go, GTN, I'll take you to show off. Ji Bai's words had just come out. He felt a cold gaze. He knew that was his sister. He was frightened and quickly changed his words. No, I'm taking you to meet my fat friend. After speaking, Ji Bai quickly quickened his pace for fear of being overtaken by his sister. Not yet. There was also a person coming over. This man has a handsome face holds a folding fan in his hand, and smiles at the same time, which makes people feel good about him. Do the editing at the same time. Brother Ji, you're welcome and safe. Brother Xiao, long time no see. Ji Bai also responded with cupped fists, and asked quickly. How's it going? Are the people over there still arrogant? As soon as Ji Bai mentioned this matter, Xiao Zaran felt aggrieved and immediately said to Ji Bai with a straight face. Brother Ji, you don't know that people from other cities look down on our people. Are you angry or not? Mom, if you dare to look down on our people, he is afraid that the old man will eat arsenic. He won't even look at the people I brought today. Ji Bai changed from his previous appearance, looking like he was bullying men and dominating women, exactly like the second generation GTN saw before. You see, this is how he was before, and he corrected it with my care. Ji Ling who was behind him, walked up to GTN's side again at some point, gritted his teeth as he looked at her brother's appearance. Sure enough, you were right. This time GTN decisively sided with his sister Ji Ling. Not to mention his sister Ji Ling, even GTN, he couldn't help but slap Ji Bai on the head. It's true that Ji Bai is too wretched now. Oh, I wonder which one boss Ji is looking for this time. Xiao Zaran asked curiously. This is the first time they have come. Every time they come, they will take the person they choose into the secret realm. This is this person, his name is GTN. From now on, when you see him, you will see him just like me. Do you hear that? The wretchedness on Ji Bai's face disappeared at this time, and he looked serious. Remember, he will be my brother from now on. Xiao Zaran stood up straight and assured Ji Bai. At the same time, he was a little curious and didn't know why Ji Bai did this. In the past, these people they found, it's like risking your life, no one knows whether you will come out or not. Therefore, it is equivalent to a transaction for these people. But now, it seems that Brother G actually respects the handsome and unattractive man behind him. Why is this? But G Bai didn't have time to explain to him. But he was also very smart and didn't ask. Anyway, Brother G's decision was not wrong. This was his experience after following him for several years. Then, he hurriedly ran to GTN and bent slightly, I've met Brother G. If you need me to do anything, just tell me. This sudden shout of, Big Brother, made GTN a little confused. But he quickly came to his senses. Don't call me brother, I don't like this title. GTN said a little annoyingly. The title Big Brother is like a gangster. He felt the name didn't suit him. But, it suits G by quite well. Oh, then it's Brother G. Xiao Zaran was not angry at GTN's words at all, but immediately admitted his mistake. Because just when he was close to GTN, his beast control actually conveyed a feeling of fear. This shocked him very much. How can this be? His beast control has golden and high level potential. At the same time, this also let him know. GTN is anything but simple. GTN nodded, this title is okay. Hey, isn't this Jibai from Laoshan City who is afraid of his sister? Why do you dare to show up here now? An extremely arrogant voice came from not far away. Each of these people was dressed extremely gorgeously, with jewels and jewels all over their bodies. Their bodies were shining. 
he held a feather fan in his hand, looking extremely luxurious. Who? That garbage is spraying feces. Ji Bai shouted angrily. You don't give me face. Of course I won't give you face either. HMPH, Ji Bai, you are still so eloquent. The person who just spoke clenched the fan in his hand angrily, and the handle of the fan was visible to the naked eye. That's right, it loses the image of a noble. The other people behind him also nodded and looked at Ji Bai in disgust. It's as if you, the dog like losers, have a noble image. Ji Bai's mouth was as wild as a cannon. Chapter 37 What did you say? Do you dare to say it again? Zhao Mo, who was walking at the front, was so angry at Ji Bai's words that he smoked. Ji Bai, you are looking for death. Chu Zhang next to him was also furious. As the sons of their respective ministers, each of them has been well fed and clothed since childhood. No one should be respectful when meeting him. Who dares to see them without worshipping them, who dares to be disrespectful to them in the slightest? They are the princes of their respective cities. And this is what the major cities of the entire human race really look like. And it can be said, Ji Bai is an exception among them, or an outlier who was born under his sister's tender care. But Ji Bai looked at these people with disgust. At this moment, he felt a sense of gratitude towards his sister who loved to care for him. If it weren't for her, I'm afraid I will be like this. And Xiao Zaran didn't dare to interrupt at all. He is just one of his father's hundreds of sons. How can he be as proud as the prince from other cities? That's why he is a coward. Everyone else looked down on him. Only Ji Bai was willing to talk to him and talk to him on an equal footing, so of course he had to follow Ji Bai. Looking for death, do you think this is still your city? Let me tell you, everyone here is no worse than you. You want my life. Come on, who is afraid of whom? Who dares not to have a grandson? Ji Bai shouted loudly, as if you were a coward if you didn't dare to come. He didn't do this without confidence. GTN is his confidence. It can be said. With GTN here, he doesn't believe anyone can defeat him. You guy. Xiao Mo gloomily held the folding fan in his hand and deformed it. He didn't know why Ji Bai, who had a low profile, dared to make such wild remarks today, making him unable to step down. Is this still the Ji Bai he knows? Does he have some kind of trump card? Zhao Mo was not carried away. He still maintained his sense, which is why he became a second generation talker. Boss, let's kill him. There are only five of them, but there are dozens of us. Even if one of us fires one move, we can kill him. There was a young and energetic boy in the back looking at GTN and the other five angrily. This is his first time back here. How could anyone in his city have ever experienced such anger? Yes, the boss is too arrogant. Others behind him also said. It's not like they can't do it, so why don't they teach you a lesson? This feeling of being criticized is really uncomfortable. But Jalmo did not act rashly. Two black iron intermediates, one silver junior, one silver intermediate, and one whose strength is unclear, but should be about the same as myself, silver advanced. It should be a sure win for our side. Jalmo's eyes rolled around and he made up his mind. Gee bye, don't say that I bullied you because of my age. This was your own provocation. Brothers, summon the beasts, beat them to their knees and beg for mercy today. Yes, the people behind Jaomo were immediately overjoyed, this was the boss they wanted. Come out, Jendi Turtle. Come out, Jenny Suchis. Come out, Bulbasaur. Next moment, a one kilometer radius space is occupied by various beasts. There are bears, cats, monkeys, rats, wolves, dogs, leopards, tigers, etc., and these are all running on the ground, as well as various birds flying in the sky. The numerous and powerful beasts are like a dark cloud, making people unable to breathe. And most importantly, without exception, these beast masters all have gold level qualifications. It seems that the gold level beasts that are rarely seen in the outside world have become readily available here. Gudong. Boss Ji, how about we admit our mistake? Xiao Zaran had never seen such a scene before. My legs were so scared that they were weak. Stand behind, you're not the one to go in. Ji Bai glanced at Xiao Zaran. Even before the fight, I was already so frightened. I'm afraid I'd be scared to death if I hit him. What a shame. GTN, would you like to teach them a lesson? Ji Bai walked up to GTN carefully and begged with a smile. 
there is no trace of the arrogance he had before. PFF. GTN almost laughed at what this guy said. His face changes so quickly. But GTN didn't refuse either. He hates those second generations, especially those who dare to be arrogant to him. He immediately put his hands in his pockets and walked forward slowly. It was as if they were not facing a sky full of gold level beast masters, but a bunch of rubbish. Why did he come forward? Xiao Zaran, who was a little scared, didn't know. The dozens of second generation beast masters opposite didn't know either. What? Are you still planning to fight all of us alone? Zhao Mo said indifferently. At the same time he felt slighted. This is looking down on yourself at all. Only one person was sent. Did he think that one person could attack us all? What a joke. He didn't believe it at all. Pity. GTN didn't even bother to pay attention to this second generation. Coercion. GTN said calmly. Subsequently, a wave of waves that humans cannot feel, but that the beasts can clearly feel, is centered on GTN and crushes the surrounding beasts. Touch. 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 This moment. Whether it's flying in the sky, walking on the ground, or spinning underground. They all fell to the ground. No beast can resist. Not a single beast dared to resist at all. This is the coercion of the Wolf King after the Bloodline bonus. No need to release the beast. But GTN is the emperor of all beasts. Chapter 38. PFF. How could it be? Jalmo suddenly felt a sense of fear in his heart. This fear almost made him unable to stand and fell to his knees. However, the pride in his heart did not allow him to kneel down, and he finally survived. But he still paid the price and spat out a mouthful of blood. Just because he can get through it doesn't mean that others behind him can get through it. Thump, thump, one by one, they were kneeling on the ground like dumplings being thrown out of a pot. They don't want to kneel. But the fear imparted to them by the beast made them feel cold. He knelt down unconsciously. What? What's going on? How could I kneel down? Damn it, who dares to bear my kneeling? It's so scary, who influenced my beast control? Some of the second generations kneeling on the ground cried out in fear, while others still resisted stubbornly. You, it's you, right? Jaumo, the only one who did not kneel down, pointed at GTN and said in fear. It's me, what can you do to me? GTN said nonchalantly. These people didn't have the strength for him to face up to. Damn it, is this the person that Boss G should be careful about? Xiao Zaran looked at the scene in front of him in shock. Once upon a time, I was bullied and humiliated like those second generation people. But I never thought that they would be like this. But, the arrival of GTN broke his cognition. It turns out that someone really can create miracles. Even though GTN didn't target him, he still felt the trembling from the beast in his body. He knows. That's the feeling of fear. It seems that it is very afraid of the person in front of it. In front of this person, it didn't even have the courage to stand up. Do you know who I am? Jalmo knew that the person in front of him was definitely not simple, so he knew how to move out of his backstage, hoping that GTN would retreat. Hey, if you compete with Brother G backstage, can you compete with me first? G by behind him immediately jumped out, pointed at Jalmo and cursed. Don't forget, even if they are all cities, there are differences. Our Laotian city is the top among hundreds of cities around it. What about you? Don't think I don't know, Jalmo, your father's strength is not a little bit worse than mine. This is enough to explain the background in front of me. Jibai's words left Jalmo speechless because he knew that what Jibai said was the truth. Laotian city is more than a little stronger than Wangshen city. At this moment, he truly realized. In this world, strength speaks for itself. But he just doesn't have this strength. Let's go. Turning around, GTN didn't want to deal with this rubbish anymore. The worm of human society. Okay, brother G, we all listen to you. G Bai changed his face quickly, leaving Jalmo stunned for a moment. Can you tell me your name? Jalmo grinned and asked. He wanted to know the name of this man who could crush them all by himself. At this moment, even those who fell on the ground slowly raised their heads. GTN turned his head, looked at these people, and said with a smile. My name is GTN, G from Jishui, TN from the sky. After saying that, GTN no longer stayed. Under the leadership of Xiao Zaran, they rushed towards the secret realm. 
And behind them, GTN, I remember you. Zhao Mo wiped the bloody corners of his mouth, then fainted on the ground with a bang. He couldn't hold it any longer just now, but he kept insisting because he wanted to ask GTN's name. And now, finally he couldn't bear it anymore. The fear in the beast's heart broke the last line of defense in his heart. GTN doesn't know about this. Of course, even if he knew it, he wouldn't care. So strong. Ji Ling's eyes flickered brightly and darkly. I don't know who can conquer such a person. Thinking of this, she felt a little lonely for some reason. When her father misunderstood her just now, she felt a little shy, but also had a hint of expectation that was not easy to detect. And now, her heart is full of bitterness. I don't seem to be worthy of him at all. His future is not something I can see. Of course, this look was well concealed by her, and even the people she brought didn't notice it. Soon, they were led by Xiao Zaran to the entrance to the secret realm. GTN looked towards the entrance of the secret realm. There is a black space gap that is tens of meters long, like a big mouth, biting off a piece of space. The secret realm is surrounded by several beasts that are dozens of meters tall, and each of them has a strong man with a terrifying aura standing on them. They were there to protect the secret place from anyone sneaking in. And underneath the secret realm, GTN found that people from the four major colleges were far away from each other. It doesn't seem to be very harmonious. Further away are campsites with the surnames of major families such as Zhao, Ming, Wang, Wu, and Zhang. Each of them has its own area. People from other factions are strictly prohibited from entering. And scattered further away are city-level forces like them. I can only watch from a distance. When the secret realm opens, only the last batch can enter. Chapter 39. Time passes slowly. Ji Yongchang has returned to their side again to protect them. Everyone is waiting. Waiting for the moment when the entrance to the secret realm truly opens. At this time, the entrance to the secret realm that was originally more than 10 meters has expanded to several hundred meters. Almost swallowing up the surrounding sky. It looks very majestic and terrifying. However, no one who comes here is afraid. They are even excited. Excited. Because they know that the secret realm is about to be opened. Suddenly, the crack in the secret realm of more than 300 meters suddenly expanded to about 500 meters in size. The moment the expansion of the secret realm ends, all the strong men instantly appeared around the entrance to the secret realm. One after another powerful auras confront each other. The secret realm has been opened, so let's send them in as agreed. An old man held his beard and laughed, looking very approachable. But no one around the strong people dared to look down upon him. If these powerful men standing in the air are divided into several levels. This old man must belong to the top level. I listen to you, Mr. Liu. Others said. Obviously the prestige of being called Mr. Liu is very high. Those from the four major colleges, go. As the disciples of the top power, they have priority. Yes. Several loud voices came from under the tents of the four major colleges. Immediately, students from the four major colleges began to fly out one after another and headed straight for the opening of the secret realm. At a glance, one can see that they are all top-level silver warriors. This, it is also a restriction of the secret realm, and people from the silver realm are allowed to enter at most. If someone higher than the silver realm enters, it will cause the secret realm to collapse. The students from the four major colleges disappeared at the entrance in the blink of an eye, and after a while there was no movement. Another voice said, people from all the major families, hurry in. Subsequently, dozens of figures emerged from the camps of major families. Those who flew up were also silver level experts, and they were the younger generations of major families. Streams of light passed in front of GTN and the others, rushing into the secret realm. After a while, it was the turn of the third batch, which was also the last batch. This time it was the turn of GTN and his city-level geniuses. Humph, isn't it just that I was born well? What's so great about it? If I was born well, I can do it too. Someone said sourly, but the people around him didn't speak, but quietly moved a little farther away from this person. What a fool. How old are you, and you still say these childish things? This man will not live long. This is the voice of everyone. GTN ignored these people. He stared at the dark entrance, feeling an impulse in his heart. He can feel it. This will be the place where you can truly shine. 
this will be the place where you can leap over the dragon gate. However, thinking about GTN, he suddenly realized. I seem to have a problem. It seems that I can't fly. How do you get up there yourself? Just thinking. The second group of people has completely entered it. People at the municipal level can go in. As soon as he finished speaking, people around GTN rose into the sky one by one. Rush towards the entrance of the secret realm with all your strength. Only GTN stood there and scratched his head in embarrassment. GTN, who did not take off, easily attracted the attention of the powerful people present. What's going on with this little guy? Why don't you go in? Are you afraid of giving up? A big man with a round face said loudly. No, because he is only at the intermediate level of black iron and cannot fly yet. Someone scanned GTN and said calmly. Isn't this nonsense? Do you dare to enter the secret realm even at the black iron level? A big boss shook his head. Sorry, sorry, I forgot about it. Ji Yongchang appeared in front of GTN in the blink of an eye and said to the others. Oh, it turns out they are from Laoshan City. Don't you have anyone left? Let a black iron level person go in. A strange voice came. GTN looked at it and found that this man looked a bit like Zhao Mo before, but he was older. Old ghost Zhao, how dare you interfere in my affairs, Ji Yongchang. Ji Yongchang said coldly. He knew that Zhao Tisheng wanted to make a fool of himself in front of so many people. But he is not a coward to Zhao Tisheng. They have been enemies for decades. But I always keep pressure on the opponent, and the opponent can't beat me at all. So I can only use some dirty tricks. Come in quickly, the secret realm will be closed soon. Mr. Lu urged. He does not interfere in the grudges of these people. But there is a time limit for opening the secret realm. After this time, don't even think about going in again. Go. Ji Yongchang dodged and pulled GTN to the entrance of the secret realm. Thank you, Uncle Ji. Thank you GTN. He is pretty good to himself. Don't thank me yet. If you want to thank me, I will kill the people that Zhao Laogui put in just now. Ji Yongchang said unabashedly. Although he didn't know GTN's strength, it was definitely not as simple as just black iron level. Okay. Uncle G, don't worry. GTN smiled and said. Once inside, it's no big deal to kill those people to make Uncle G happy. Ha ha ha, you are really young, and your tone is not young. You, Bayan, will probably be trampled to pieces by the ferocious beasts all over the ground as soon as you enter, and you want to kill my people. You should survive first. Zhao Tisheng was amused by GTN's words. This guy has such a loud mouth. Black iron versus silver. Young and frivolous. It's normal. The strong men standing in the sky also joked. I haven't seen anyone dare to brag in front of them for a long time. But Mr. Lu didn't smile when he saw GTN's confident look. Because his master beast told him. The blood evil spirit in this boy can fill the sky. The evil spirit of blood can only be gathered by killing an extremely large number of people. And he saw that GTN probably had just awakened not long ago. Why did he kill so many people? I'm afraid he's not that simple. GTN smiled slightly at the contempt and indifference of these powerful men. I hope these people won't cry when I come out. There must be a lot of beast crystals in those geniuses. Chapter 40. For GTN, his main goals for this trip to the secret realm are three points. First, the rapid improvement of strength is not to say how weak his current strength is, but that his level is a bit low. Therefore, he needs to upgrade his level and the level of beast control. And this requires a lot of beast crystals. Coincidentally, the most indispensable thing in this secret realm is ferocious beasts and countless beast crystals. The second is to find his second beast. Every time a beast master crosses a great realm, he can contract a beast again. However, there are also people who choose to have only one beast. Because resources are limited, instead of cultivating a few more beasts, it would be better to train one beast to be stronger. Therefore, this is also the reason why those who were higher level than GTN before only summoned one beast. But, GTN doesn't have to worry about this. He has a system. You can completely increase the level of the beast master by relying on experience points. The third one promised G by to bring him a cub of gold level or above to be his second beast. So, as long as he does these two things, his trip to the secret realm will definitely be worthwhile. Enter the entrance to the secret realm. 
GTN's eyes darkened. But soon, he saw a bright light. GTN knows, he's arrived. The next second, GTN found himself standing on a piece of green grass. Look around. This place is an endless prairie. The grass is so lush that it almost reaches GTN's waist. From time to time, large birds flew across the sky, with bright red feathers and a long neck that accounted for almost half of the body length. GTN found that those birds were things he had never learned before. I didn't see anyone else around. It seems like the landing here is random. Apart from the occasional sound of insects, there was no other sound in my ears. According to G-Bai's information, this secret realm is tens of millions of kilometers away, almost as big as half a city. Therefore, it is impossible to walk all the way here. After thinking about it, GTN immediately released Xiao Yu Sirius. Ouch. Xiao Yu Sirius, who was brought out, shouted happily. The sound spread far and wide on the grassland. In an instant, the area around GTN fell into deathly silence. The insects no longer sing, the green grass no longer shakes. Not even the breeze dared to blow anymore. The world became quiet at this moment. How domineering. But I like it. GTN stroked Xiao Yu serious long temples. And at this moment, ouch, ouch, ouch. I don't know how far away there was a wolf howl. Wolf howls spread unbridled across the grassland. The other ferocious beasts who heard the sound were so frightened that they lay on the ground, not daring to take a breath. Xiao Yu serious suddenly looked to the right. It could tell that it was the roar of its wolf clan. Xiao Yu Sirius lowered his head and looked at GTN with a little eagerness in his eyes, but he still obeyed GTN's orders. You want to go there? GTN asked. He could feel his desire to control the beast. Xiao Yu Tinlong nodded. That is its kin. This is also the first time it has seen its wild brethren since birth. It does not recognize those wolves that have become beast masters. Come on, let's go take a look. GTN won't stop Xiao Yu Sirius's idea. Anyway, he hasn't found the direction yet, so he can just play around as much as he wants. He only needs to achieve his goal within 15 days. Therefore, he is not in a hurry. Jump on the back of Xiao Yu Sirius. The 4 to 5 meter large Xiao Yu Sirius carried a GTN with more than enough strength. Hold on tight and do it well. Let's go. Shout as loudly as you want. Amid GTN's laughter, Xiao Yu Sirius opened his legs and began to run towards the wolves on the endless grassland. The strong wind whistled in GTN's ears. Stretch out your arms. GTN could feel the push caused by the fast speed. This is also the first time he has left Laotian City. Therefore, he was also very excited inside. GTN, who was on the wolf's back, did not move around, but was very stable. He knew that Xiao Yu Tinlong had this intention at this time. There are no reference points on the grassland. There are only endless weeds and ferocious beasts that pop up from time to time. But the moment I saw Xiao Yu Sirius, he immediately fell to the ground as if his hair had exploded. After Xiao Yu Sirius disappeared without a trace, only then did he dare to get up and quickly return to his hometown. Wrap yourself up and shiver. I don't know how long I ran. When I came in, the high-hanging golden crows had slowly moved to the west, leaving behind red clouds in the west. It's like the sun setting over a long river. Ding, your beast, Howling Moon Sirius, kills the Black Iron Primary Ferocious Beast, Megatooth Rabbit, and the experience value is plus one. Ding, your beast, Howling Moon Sirius, kills the Black Iron Advanced Ferocious Beast Backtooth Tiger, and the experience value is plus one oh. Ding, your royal beast Howling Moon Sirius killed the bronze primary ferocious beast Demon Pattern Leopard, and the experience value is plus 1-5. On the road of Xiao Yu Sirius running wildly, system prompts sounded from time to time in GTN's ears. This is a weak and ferocious beast that Xiao Yu Tinlong inadvertently killed or frightened to death when he was on the road. Therefore, when he arrived at the area where the wolves were in the evening, GTN was surprised to find that he had gained hundreds of experience points. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.